I just paddled upstream about a mile, and today's plan, well, there are no plans, my friends. We're just gonna be out here just adventuring. I've got the canoe, I've got one ultralight, one little tiny bag of gear, and we're just gonna be chasing whatever bites. I'm good with anything. No matter what, I'm gonna have a great time out here. I just got done with a family vacation, and I had a little bit of time to kill. It's actually a Tuesday right now. I took the whole day off, so I figure, hey, let's not just sit around. Uh, let's get out there and try to catch a few fish. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, with that being said, I've actually never fished here before, so I have no idea what to to expect, but I trust the process. Let's get to it. I might want to re-rig something just a little bit different color because this water is pretty dirty. Right now I've got a pink mule jig with a horsefly on there, Dakota Sunrise. And it's not to say that I don't think this will work, I just think that the Dakota Sunrise tends to work a little bit better in clearer water. There's always just a short strike in gill is what that was. I'll take anything, man. I'll definitely take some bluegill. Let's fish along this shade line and see if one decides it wants to commit. It's been a while since I've been out in the canoe. I got a question for you. Make sure to comment below and let me know, have you ever fished in a canoe? I gotta say, there's just something about canoe fishing that is very relaxing. I'm just not feeling this color. I really think I'll be better off with something just a little bit brighter that pops a little bit more. I'm gonna go with the Donkey Tail Junior because it's got that boot tail, so it's gonna kick up a little more water. And I'm just gonna put on the true chartreuse. I'm thinking that'll hopefully catch one. This is one of my most confident baits in the world is the true chartreuse donkey tail junior. There's a bite. Oh, short striking gills, man. Oh, daggummit. I'm gonna keep moving. I'm not really feeling this area right here. I've probably had seven or eight short strikes by now but they're not eating it right there. There's one. God, get him. Oh my gosh. See, that's probably a big one for right here. I've had several short strikes and uh, they're all just dinky gills, but at least we're on the board. So it feels good to be on the board. Not exactly what we're looking for, but then again, I'm pretty much looking for anything that'll bite. So I guess technically this is what we're looking for. I'm good with anything, but the pesky little bluegill, man, they're a little bit annoying when they don't want to actually eat your jig all the way. There's one, what's this? Hey, look at that. Nice little crappie, sweet. You know what? I can't tell. I think that might be a white crappie. I'm not 100% sure, but it looks like a white crappie. I think the best way to tell is to count their dorsal spines or whatever. It looks like he's got one, two, three, four, five, six. I could be doing that wrong, but beautiful little slab. All right, well, we're on the board with uh, two species now. There's one. That's a little bass. All right, well, we've got three species, nothing particularly large, but three species, largemouth bass. There you go. See you, buddy. What is this gonna be? That's a gill. Hey, it's a little bit better one. Cool. Okay. Four fish. That one's beautiful. Beautiful little gill right up on the bank. Well, I am jumping across to the other side of the river and I don't necessarily know what to expect, but the, the bank is much steeper here. So my guess is the water might be a little bit deeper on this side. And if that's the case, that might bring just a little bit cooler water and maybe some more active fish. Who knows? It's a theory. Don't know if it's true, but the best way to test it is to go fish. I got smoked when I shot this thing way up under this dock. Come on, come on. There he is. What is this? Nice gill. Look at that. That's a better gill. That's what we've been searching for. He was way under that dock. Ow, he dorsal finned the crap out of me. It's just odd because I've fished a lot of really shady spots, but this one, I'm not entirely sure what this has that the other ones haven't had, but clearly, that was a nicer fish than anything we've come across yet. There's one. Oh, he's around the post. There we go, got him. For some reason, there's nicer sunfish here. That's another nice one. There you go. And just like that, we're making something happen here. Not a giant by any means, a little smaller than the last one, but another solid fish. See you, buddy. Cool.
Golly, that one ate it so weird. He bit it while it was sinking, but he swam up with it, so it was hard to detect that bite. All right, eh, decent little gill. That's three fish in the course of about five minutes. There's another one, four fish. This one's bigger. This one's bigger. Yeah, there you go. Solid gill, solid gill. And now I'm drifting right into the fish's spot. There we go, it every time. Two bluegill under this dock, and then two bluegill under that tree. Something about this little area right here is holding fish. There's one. Hey, look at that, that's a big crappie, holy smokes. Look at that slab. Yes, sir, that's the kind of fish we were after. And of course, just like every other fish, I'm gonna drift right into my spot. There you go. Again, beautiful slab right there. Now that one looks like a black crappie to me. Beautiful fish. Hey, buddy. And again, I don't necessarily know what would cause this dock to hold a crappie, but I will certainly take it. Now, fortunately, I don't think I blew up into this dock, so I hopefully didn't scare anything else out from underneath there. So fingers crossed there's more crappie under there. Regardless, the fishing has definitely picked up a little bit, and I don't know if it's the fact that I came over to this side of the river or if it's just a coincidence, but I'll take it. And I'm running out of time, so quite frankly, at this point, if I can just catch a few more fish, I'm gonna be feeling really good. Oh my gosh, what the heck just happened? What is this, a little smallmouth? Another species. Now the bass we've caught today have been absolute dinks, but I was literally reeling this back up trying to make another cast and a little tiny smallmouth decided it wants to eat it. Cool, well now we know there are technically smallmouth here. Come on now. I want another crappie, man. Can't tell me there's not another crappie under there. Well, this dock right here had one big crappie under it, one dinky smallmouth bass next to it, and then a bunch of little tiny bluegill that kept pestering me when I skipped it under the dock. I can't believe if there's not another crappie under there. Got him. What is this? It's another crappie? Man, he was high in the water column. He ate it right below the surface. I actually kind of foul hooked this fish. But it goes to show there are numerous crappie under this dock. I'm willing to bet that if I fish this dock right here in like four hours at sunset, this thing would uh, be a lot more productive. I'd probably catch several crappie. But hey, I'll take two. I'll take two. Well, hello there. Hey, how's it going? Good. Uh, that's probably my sign to leave that dock. Well, since I'm running out of time, I'm gonna try something just a little bit different. I'm gonna rig up a 164 ounce fire red mule jig and I'm gonna put a cowpoke mule minnow 1.2 on there. It's a little bit slower rate of fall and a little bit smaller presentation. Come on, fishy. Here's one. All right, there you go. There's a bluegill. All right, downsizing, got me a bluegill. Best way to beat the dog days of summer is to just embrace it. Fishing in the heat of the day, for whatever bites, having a good old time. There's another fish. Man, that one's pulling hard. God, these fish are kind of biting it and just swimming straight up. I don't even feel the bite. I just see my line is like tightening up and there's just a fish on there. And uh, pretty fish right there. Saw a little gill. Quick update, I tell you what, I've got about 20 more minutes to fish. Honestly, today has been a good day. I've done exactly what I wanna do. I'm catching fish, I'm relaxing, I'm hanging out in the canoe. You know, the canoe is not the most fancy thing to fish out of. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but it gets the job done. And quite honestly, it's a great throw and go rig, which is always nice because sometimes I just don't feel like packing up the big kayak. You know, uh, having the canoe makes it a little bit easier to just grab and go. Definitely the highlight for me today was the big crappie. That was a surprise. I'm, I'm very surprised that this place has a decent crappie in it and I wouldn't mind coming back and trying again the other thing I'd like to do here is actually try to bass fish a little bit come out here with some bigger gear maybe a big flipping jig maybe some top water the water conditions definitely look interesting from a bass fishing standpoint it could be pretty fun to throw around a frog or throw around a big whopper plopper or something you know this high muddy water is not exactly ideal for ultralight fishing but we're making do we're catching fish so I can't complain too much with that being said like I said I got about 20 more minutes left so let's make the most of it and let's start casting again Oh yeah. Oh 
Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh, there's a large mouth. I like snagged on, my line was like caught on something, but I had this fish the whole time. It's a little bit bigger one than the first one. Not exactly a big fish, but hey, I'll take it. There you go, another large mouth. Chunky little guy, healthy little fish. Sweet. That was weird. I like shot it under that dock and I'm pretty sure I hooked the fish, but then I think my line got like wrapped around a portion of the pontoon. And so it felt like I was snagged, but no, it was a fish. Here come more people. There we go. All right, let's catch this fish real quick. There he is. Ha ha. Nice crappie. Yes, sir. All right. And now we've got people coming down to get on their boat. So I guess that's my sign to leave. Every time I start catching fish off people's boats, they show up. There we go. A little crappie. Sweet. All right. Well, I definitely think that the uh, dock shooting slash pontoon shooting technique is the best way to catch fish right now. Well, that's gonna be a wrap. Honestly, simple little fishing trip, but we caught a lot of fish, so I'm not gonna complain too much, but I do need to go pick up my dog, and then I have to go get cleaned up and go to a dinner, so I don't have time to ramble. All in all, it was a fun time, and I look forward to taking my canoe out again in the future. It's a fun little simple rig, and uh, it's always a blast. So, without further ado, I hope you have a great day. We'll catch you next time. Come here, Carms. Come here. Hey, Karma. Hey, Karma, I missed you. I missed you. I missed you.